Good morning, my name is Stephen Snout. I'm one of the pre-sales consultants here at IDERA. In this session we're going to cover off looking at creating custom dashboards and the ability to actually add custom counters to the tool. The IDERA Diagnostic Manager tool is extremely configurable and the area we're looking at today is looking at the realm of the dashboards themselves. And as we can see in this example in front of me, looking at the .NET dashboard, I've got quite a lot on screen. Maybe this is configured for a senior DBA, with a lot of information. And what we're actually seeing here are what we refer to as panels. These are collections of information relating to a particular topic, so in this case, CPU, or memory, or networks, and things. As I said, this has got a lot of information, but it's very easy to configure your own. If we come to the Customize pane here, we'll then see how we can actually build these dashboards. So as I said, I've got a lot of information here. I've got two columns by four rows, but I can choose a much simplified layout if I so wish. I can have many dashboards. Each user can have many dashboards and just rotate and select between the ones they want. So it's a very open system. But on the right hand side here, you can see all the kind of panels we might actually want to bring on board. And bringing one on board is literally just a case of clicking on the panel and dragging it into place. If there's a hole there, it'll just fill the hole. If there's already something there, it'll just replace it. In fact, the one I was just looking at there, Custom Counters, is quite interesting, because that's an area we're going to look at in a moment. Custom Counters are how you actually extend the monitoring capabilities of Diagnostic Manager. We're not arrogant enough to necessarily believe that we monitor everything you might need out of the box, but we do make it very easy to extend the monitoring capabilities. Anyway, having added that one in, let's go and just close the designer. Now I can save this for future use or just save it for this moment in time. Looking within the dashboard here, we can now see that custom counters area, and it's very easy to basically pick up and change what you want to be displayed there. So here I'm currently looking at a single value from the custom area. But if I click on here, we can see some other available custom counters. And I can just click on the ones I want to bring to play and say OK, and I'm displaying those custom counters within the space. As you've probably seen, we've got these different color headers turning up. The gray headers are literally telling me that none of the metrics in this particular area are currently in a warning state or a critical state, whereas the yellow are telling me that I've got at least one warning uh, alert coming from that particular grouping and similarly for the red. As you can see, very easy to set up these uh, custom dashboards to make sure they present you with the information you require. But now let's look how we actually extend the monitoring capabilities to bring in those custom counters we just described just there. This is done actually down here on the administration tab. Now the administration tab contains a number of areas, including the application security, so how you grant people access to the application. But for what we're looking at today, we're looking at the custom counters. And it's very, very easy to extend the capabilities of the tool. I just click on Add here. You can see the type of things we can actually do. So we can add in additional Windows counters, uh, other metrics coming from SQL Server itself other machines, virtual machine metrics, so these are ones that are coming from the hypervisor levels from the VMware or the Hyper-V. And also we can run SQL scripts, and as long as they return a single number that we can actually plot on the graph, as you saw earlier, or alert against them, that's fine. And we can use these to instrument your own applications. In fact, if we just follow this through, taking the Windows counters, select which server we're going to run it against, and then we can actually look at the various range of objects we're talking about here. So these are all the various metrics that are available in the WI metrics, the kind of ones that you might see in Perfmon. And you can see there are hundreds of these, <laughs> possibly even thousands. In fact, the ones which we were actually looking at before, which were up in the processor area, they're down here. So if I just want to add another one, I can say, OK, I want to look in the processor group. Then with each, in under there, there's another full set of metrics relating to, to processors. So in my case, I've been looking at processor time, and then potentially the individual calls in this server that we might want to monitor. And that's exactly how these were added in here. In fact, these were done for a client who was interested in monitoring the individual core usage, uh, CPU, 
because he was setting up parallel server and he just wanted to make sure that he was correctly loading his cores in his system. Another type, as I mentioned previously, is the idea of being able to look at SQL. And here's one that we wrote uh, for being able to track uh, how long it was ago that a particular database was backed up. Now in the current version of Diagnostic Manager, we already have an agent to track this for you. But it's a useful example anyway. This is a very simple piece of code. And it's literally just telling us how many days this was since this particular database was backed up. But I have seen examples of code here with many, many pages of SQL here to fully instrument uh, your application going forwards.